Greetings, everyone. I am Lotus Prince. And for this Let's Play, well, this is a very special one, because this is the first survival horror game I have ever played. It all started back in 2002 on the Nintendo GameCube, where I played the remake of the original Resident Evil. I've never played the original Resident Evil at the time, so this was all completely new to me. I didn't have expectations to be subverted because I didn't know what I was getting into. And this was a big deal for the time. Even now, this case feels kind of heavy. We got a full manual in here, two discs. That was pretty uncommon for the GameCube. Not many GameCube games had two discs. I can think of Resident Evil 0, 1, and 4. I think there are probably a couple of others, but it's, it's very infrequent. I loved this game. I played it so many times, but eventually I moved on. And, you know, I can't keep playing every game over and over again. But then I heard that Resident Evil Remake was coming to HD after over a decade, and it was finally released for the PS3 360. I think it was just those at first, and then it finally hit PS4, Xbox One, and Steam, and we are going to be playing the PS4 release. This is going to be a major nostalgic blast for me, because I hadn't played this game in over a decade myself. So, let's take a look at my first survival horror game for the first time for the second time. It's going to be a good time. Let's go crazy. Well, here we are, preparing to play the first horror game I've ever played in HD. Oh, cool. Well, Zero will definitely come another time, but for now... Wow, it has been a very long time since I've heard this. A very long time. Wow. By the way, um, you see this picture here? With the, the front hallway of the mansion? That, I believe, is the Japanese cover art. Except it would say Biohazard, of course. I forgot about this. I completely forgot about this. Jesus. Up until the gunshot, that was like a freaking Silent Hill 3 opening. Here it is. 1996. The original Resident Evil. All the way to 2014 with the remaster. Those graphics. Oh my god. I love how the bar doesn't tell you what it's loading. It's just like something is going from 0 to 100%. <laughs> yeah, new save data. Let's see how much blood splatter we get. Oh, it's going away? Alright. Yeah, this is something new to this. There wasn't really that kind of thing going on on the GameCube. All right. Oh, get, oh, that's cool. It actually does come with the manual. A gallery, that's new to the HD version. Leaderboard, shut up. It, it's, it's freaking Resident Evil 1. Like, um, I will take a look at the manual though because I want to see how to use defense items. Uh, controls, page four. L2. That makes sense. The L button was the defense button in um, the GameCube version. 
L1 changes the aiming target while aiming. That's very useful. D-pad, analog stick if you really want to. Um, oh wait, the above settings with the alternate controls? What? I guess I could take a look at that later. Yeah, right stick is the 180 turn. Down button plus the run. That was not in Resident Evil 1. That was introduced in Resident Evil 3, so it's definitely appreciated here. R1 attacks while you're aiming. But how do you aim? Oh, oh just L1. Oh, oh, I misread then. L2 changes the target while you are aiming, but L1 by itself aims. So the shoulder buttons aim and fire. Okay. Status screen is circle. I'd rather just press start, but that takes you to options instead. Okay. Yeah, it says... Oh, left sticker, up button. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Like, I like the analog stick, but for tank controls... Man, it's it's so weird. I gotta go with the D-pad. Okay, I, th I think I'm satisfied. Options. Do we have anything in options? Display. That's right. That's right, that they actually put a lot of love into this project. I can play it with uh, optimized for widescreen display, or I could use the original full screen display, and it kind of, I think it pans for you to make the thing make sense. It's not just a stretched aspect ratio, which is kind of cool. I'm going to stick with the wide, though. Uh, brightness. No, hell with that. I'll just be a game. I can make this the brightest thing in the world on my TV monitor, but it won't change the feed, now would it? Uh, I'll make this a little bit brighter for the sake of the viewers. Well, we'll see how that goes. Audio. This I thought was pretty cool. You can actually... Yeah, change the language, which is pretty awesome. From what I've heard, the Japanese version is Japanese only. That's very disappointing. And then subtitles. I don't think subtitles ever were an option in the GameCube release, so that's cool too. I might be wrong about that, but I know for sure that there was only one language in the GameCube release. Uh, control auto data upload? Uh, no. Okay, back to the... Yeah, back to the game. Save successful. We're doing great. All right. Without further ado, new game. Resident Evil. That GameCube voice, man. Oh, and okay. Do do we get to really look at? I'll try it. Um, the new control scheme sounds okay. What even was the original? That's my problem. I don't even know what that means. I'll stick with this alternate one, I guess. Well, you know what? I'll try original, see what happens. How do you like your games? Wait a second. Do they always have three options? I could have sworn they only had two options. Didn't you have to, like, unlock hard mode? In any case, I am absolutely doing normal mode. <laughs> oh, approved. Cool. Chris Redfield. Why, why can't I press up? Jill Valentine. What's with... Oh, I can change costumes right now. Yeah, here's his BSAA costume from Resident Evil 5. How do you like that? Jill, probably the same. Yeah, Resident Evil 5 costumes right off the bat. Obviously, this was not in the original release, because Resident Evil 5 did not yet exist. Cool. Of course, I'm going to stick with the original. Ah, oh, thank God it's saving that content. I am going to have to check what the original control scheme is. The alternate ones seem pretty good, but let's see what happens. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently 
eaten. Oh, they're actually showing you the Marvel shots of violence. Sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris. Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Oh wow, we're looking at the perspective of Joseph Frost. He's the guy who didn't even make Safe it to the game. The body of Kevin. He died uh, way early. Also, that's new. Like, I mean, compared to the 1996 release. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. It has been over a decade since I've watched this. This is amazing. It's been so long. And I'm so used to Resident Evil 1 now that I'm not used to this. I think that's Joseph. released on a Nintendo console first. No, don't go. Chris, this way. Barry still got that Magnum or the Cult Python. Yeah, voice acting's just a bit better this time around. Killing the move with that loading bar, though. That's better. Enter the survival horror. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. Oh, that's gorgeous. We don't know where Barry is. <sighs> is everyone all right? Barry. Where's Barry? <laughs> they kept the line. He's... No. He's probably... What was that? I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Chris? Take care. Yeah. Yeah, they, they mostly kept the original script. Very slight changes, but it's just delivered better. Jill and I will stay in the front hall, in case of an emergency. Barry? Where's Barry? Alright, controls. Let's see what we're even looking at here. Triangle of status. Circle is reload while aiming. That's amazing. X is examine. Square still run. Both of these look good. Geez, there's, there's freaking five control schemes. Well, what's the... Uh, what's the alternate then? Maybe I'll just stick with the alternate. I don't freaking know. This is all, like, almost the same. Whatever. Oh, defensive items. You know what? Let's do let's do manual. Uh, Got to admit, one thing I prefer about SD is not having these screens. Thank you. 
Whoa. So I auto run? Oh, I auto run with the stick. Okay. Also, there's a save area in the uh, the dining hall rather than the, the main hall. How about that, huh? Also, I'm going to want a storage box because Chris has no freaking inventory space, if you remember. Although he does automatically have the lighter. In Resident Evil 1, he did not. It was still uh, an item you could find. Defensive items... Wait, what? He can have daggers and the grenades? Am I remembering this right? I remember Jill could have the daggers and the stun gun. Are the daggers just universal then? Huh. Okay. And is this anything? The only movement is the silent flicker of the candle's flame. This lighting. This is amazing. Also, sure enough, I do not believe I... Oh, that pan! You see that? Look at that. Yeah, it's panning a little bit. So maybe my memory is faulty. Maybe the original aspect ratio would force the camera angle. Because this was not designed for widescreen. Panning was absolutely not in the original game. Also, fireplace. I... Mm, I think there was a fireplace in the original, but it absolutely was not lit. The emblem I'm going to get later because it's just going to take up inventory space for now. Oh wow, I forgot about this. A picture of two knights, knicked, striking each other. The short sword has been thrust into the breast of one knight while the long sword has pierced the head of the other. If memory serves, I think that was a reference to the clock hands. I can't I can't adjust that now, can I? Do I need a key to open this? When the two have run each other through the path to your destiny will open. But I don't I don't think I can yeah. I don't think I can open that yet. Also Okay. Much more intimidating clock sound, you hear this? Let's get out of here. Oh my god, here we are. Here we are. I'm gonna have to get used to this panning though, this feels really weird. Yeah, can't get in there. This is remake though, so you never know what's been changed. I'm pretty sure all this stuff is locked off though. Armor. Armor? That was a lockpick door or a sword key door before. Now it's an armor key door? Oh, I think because the basement was the sword key, right? Do I have that right? I can just walk here? So, so there's no door stopping me from going here at all. Hey, the elevator still doesn't work here. Oh, look at that. I can just go up and down the stairs as I please. Again, introduced in Resident Evil 3. So in Remake, I guess this was the sword key door? Yeah, it's been a while. Sword key in Resident Evil 1 was exclusive to Chris, but I believe both characters had to put up with it in Remake. Now, it's funny, because you know that first zombie cutscene? I said I wasn't too terribly bothered by it when I first saw it, although everybody else was. Because Remake was my first horror game, so this is what I saw when I was in high school. Oh my god, now that is scary. Also, oh my god. I wonder if I can cheat a little bit. By the way, I'm not fighting this zombie. He, I think he's the strongest zombie in the game. The corpse of your comrade, Kenneth, looks like he's holding something. It's the film that belonged to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. Well, that's new. What happened to his two clips, am I right? Also, there's a background image of the video recorder behind the text. That's, I think, a little nod. Normally in Resident Evil, when you pick up an item, it's just a black background with text, but in the original Japanese release on the PS1, there were images of what you picked up. I don't know why the hell that was removed. So the corpse, 
Looks like his throat's been torn out. Oh god, that... I am going to get hurt. Uh... Big mistake. I don't know how I feel about this widescreen, to be perfectly honest. I'm kind of tempted to switch it. This painting thing's just, it feels weird. There's ink ribbons, obviously. I can't do anything with that now. Gorgeous. Wesker? Jill? Where did they go? Jill's gun. The handgun. Wow, that 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 loaded fast as hell. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, you got the stars logo on it, and I can zoom. Oh, but there's no like it's just in or out that's it a star's custom oh it shows you the animation that's gorgeous a custom automatic fires nine millimeter parabellum rounds so it's not called the uh, the beretta anymore maybe there's a brand name issue i don't know by the way carbon reinforced allied blade with serrated edges chris has been using it since his days in the air force amia i wonder if that is a real thing i don't know in any case, I am totally equipping the handgun because I don't have a death wish. Now I get to examine the mansion at my leisure, which... Oh! This is a stupid thing, but remember how in Resident Evil 1, when you examine the door, you get that wonky looking CG of the dog sticking his head through? Let's see what that cutscene looks like this time around. Yup. My god. You know what? Maybe I'll just die. Oh, if you don't press anything, you just take a lot more damage. Also, um, showing animations of being wounded. That wasn't in Resident Evil 1. And I think that's my throat. Yep, he tore out my throat. I'm dead. Get, get used to it. <laughs> Uh, that's pretty good. You know, I don't think I'm much of a fan of the L1, R1 aim and shoot thing. I might have to alter the controls a little bit. I don't want R1 to aim and X to attack, though. I kind of want L1 to aim. Well, well... Hmm... Our two aims, not a chance in hell. That's god awful. Uh, how about original controls? Aim attack. Both the R buttons aim and X attacks. That has potential. But how do I do the map? Oh, triangle, ugh. No, no. Hmm. Hmm. All right, you know what? Alternate again, but I guess I'm gonna suck up this. So I'll do. I'll try this. R1 aim and X attacks. That might do a little bit better. I'll try that. I real. I I hate sitting through these loading screens though. Now of course I've gotten almost nowhere in the game, so I'm gonna continue a little bit, make the installment a bit longer. Resident. But yeah, how do you like that? The one time in the entire game you could actually have an enemy fight you in the main hallway. Pretty cool, huh? And I'm gonna try original display, because that was a little weird for me. And 
now I know what is and is not in that room with that first zombie, so I won't waste any time going to that door in the back. Which, by the way, did not exist in the original Resident Evil. It was just a dead end with Kenneth's body. Already, you could see a lot of changes here. Yeah, look at that aspect ratio. Team is flying around but I think this is actually going to be a little better for me. I'm sorry if you're a fan of widescreen, but that panning thing, it, it, it just doesn't feel right. As gorgeous as it looks if you're standing still, it, I, it doesn't sit well with me when you're moving around. It really doesn't. Let's see if I fare any there better. Are only three stars members. Mm hmm. Is everyone all right? Barry. Okay. You can you can skip cutscenes. That's important. That feels a lot better, honestly. Now let's walk up to that fireplace. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with this. The black bars look a little weird on the TV on a freaking PS4 game, but I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm going a little old school here. Actually, I just realized I missed something. There's one cutesy little thing that you can kind of see that I forgot about. You can actually go right back into the main hallway and uh, you'll get a little sort of bonus scene. That gunfire. I'm counting on you to investigate, Chris. You got it, Wesker. Uh, there, there it is. <laughs> you saw it. Okay. Yeah, I, f I think I'm going to feel a lot better with R1 and X to aim and attack. That's what I'm more accustomed to anyway. The L1, R1 thing I guess works in some other games, but I've just been playing Resident Evil 1, at least at the time I'm recording this. And, uh, I'm used to that. <laughs> Alright, let's get the hell out of- Ooh -hoo -hoo. Nailed it. You know what intimidates me, by the way? I don't believe I mentioned this. But, um... With Resident Evil, Chris was always hard mode. Jill was considerably easier in terms of getting through the game. But Resident Evil Remake is harder than Resident Evil 1, if memory serves. So I'm basically playing hard mode on hard mode. And I'm not even playing on hard difficulty. <laughs> uh... All right, I'm taking that handgun for sure. Oh, triangles map. Ooh. Uh. Uh. Circle. Okay, circle. Gotta get used to that. All right. Now I have options. I could go back and fight that zombie, but there's there's nothing there for me. I can go behind. Also, there's stairs that wasn't here before. And lo and behold, we actually have a door. This was just a wall before. There's a whole other area. And on top of that... Wonder what's on the other side of this door. Yeah, you might wonder, but like... Do you really want to go toward that? Wow! Y you can't see it, but I'm actually pressing X as I approach the stairs to make me climb up it, even though I don't need to do it. I'm still used to playing on the freaking PS1. So this was locked with the armor key before. Now it's a helmet key. Are you kidding me with this? By the way, this is where the, uh, the costume change room was in Resident Evil 1. It was through the door that's through this door. However, it's in a different place in this game. In fact, I think it's in here in this game. 